What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? Um, today is going to be super cool because guess what guys? Some of you guys said to get new wheels for the Civic and maybe I did some, you know. Maybe I got some new wheels, who knows. Let's just continue on with the day, but uh, whew. this color though. Ooh, looks super sick. Getting it ready for week fest. Week fest prep, you guys already know. What's up, KT? What's up? Damn, don't look too good over there. <laughs> Fitman looking good, bro. Yeah, but the bumper's coming off. Yeah, bumper's coming off? Yeah, I need to adjust the caster so that the wheel uh, to go back more. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, today, your boy KT and I, we're gonna be swapping wheels. Uh, he's actually letting me run these wheels to use it for week fest because he's bringing his Accord to week fest So I was like, hey, why not give it a new look new color? So the only thing I need now is just some polished wheels these needs to be repolished So probably gonna do that right before week fest I feel like for the Civic the only thing that I'm missing now is just some three-piece wheels and I've always wanted polished wheels, so KT having the blitz now after he won it from the raffle, motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> I was in that raffle too, but uh, I wasn't the lucky hey. one to get it. Hopefully, these specs will fit my car the, for the for the fronts and the rears. So, fingers crossed. Woo! How many of you guys think the blitz will look good on my car? <laughs> what if you, if you guys think it will look good in? The, if you guys think it will look good on my car, give this video a thumbs up right now. That's how I know how many of you guys yeah, you actually get think. Dislikes. Dislike? What you mean dislike? You about to like it so much that you don't let me use it. I am already letting you use it. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> if you guys think it looks better on the Civic than the 300, oh. drop a comment down below, guys. <laughs> on the on, come on, dude. Look at the color, dude. Dude, this color looks hella good on the Civic. Look at the film aesthetic, bro. Chill. <laughs> Before I put the wheels on, no, can't forget to put the hub center rings. All right. There you go. Sweet. That'll allow the wheel to sit on the eccentric spacers. Flush. All right, so while KT and I is actually working on our cars, Michelada one of the Michelada. homies just actually came by. He actually drives a 2012 Coupe SI as well. And he lives just a couple of blocks from, uh, a couple of houses away from me. And we, I always run into him. So I actually stopped by and brought us some uh, Modelo Micheladas. Modelo there time. Go. Modelo time. Hey, oh. want to crack it open? <laughs> Cheers, boys. There you go. Super refreshing, right? Nothing like a beer when you're sick, you know? Yeah, this was this was actually like becoming sick, so the beer would, the beer should help. So, cheers. All right, guys. Uh, first thing first, we already ran into our first problem. Uh, my wheels for the Civic is actually the the hub size is 64.1 or something like that, and his 300 is actually bigger. So when he put on my wheels, it doesn't fit. So there isn't any way that we can swap the wheels right now. So and I also don't have any spare wheels for him to slap on at the same time. So we gotta relocate to his place and put his 300 on jack stands because your boy's still letting me run the wheels. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's still letting me run the wheels, but we got to do it at his house so that we can just leave his car in jack stands and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head over to his house right now. Alright, we just got to KT's house. Time to put uh, KT's car on jack stands and finally swap the wheels. Got the front wheels off and the front driver's side is on and let's see how well it'll look. As of right now, being on jack, on a jack, it looks like the fitment, it will clear. It looks like the lip will pull just right too. Oh my god. All right, KT and I got the wheels on. It's time to air out to see how well it sits. By the looks of it already, I know that the front's gonna be looking more aggressive than how the rear looks. The rear, actually my wheels are a little bit more aggressive. Are you guys ready? 
Time to air out. Hey, KT, you ready? Time to air out. Yeah, your boy's still using the phone, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go check the rears, yeah? Ooh. Damn, nice. look at that. Hey, you should go more, dude. This side, this side I can definitely go more. Oh, what the? It's pulling it, dude. Tight, it's tight. Look. So the rears, you can have to tell it's going to be tucking. Put your finger there and then uh Oh yeah. Oh I heard it. Dude, is it gonna even check 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 check? I think I heard something. Oh it's like hair it's like paper paper space. Uh, it's not touching the strut yet. I definitely want to poke these wheels out though, by the looks of it. Right? Let me know what you guys think. Poke or no poke? I think I should poke that poke it out. Dude, look at how crazy the lip pokes out in the front. Yep, let's see that. Let's see it. Let's see it. Damn, that's hella. Looks sick. That's hella. And then the rears is like tucking because that's how I ran my rears and rears with the VIP modulars. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably gonna try to try and test out some uh, bigger spaces in the rear and hopefully add it poke before we fest. Let me know down in the comments below guys, what you guys think, poke or tuck? I definitely want to poke. Alright, by the looks of it, since I do want to poke the wheels, um, I am running, I'm actually running a 15 millimeter spaces on these right now and it's not enough. Uh, we're assuming that we might need from 30 mil to 35 millimeter to have it poked out just to have it match the front I do have a set of 40 so I'm just gonna go ahead and try that out at home Well, you guys look at that it's super ugly and it's like all messed up look at that it's so old look at that it's all cracked up and all that and on top of that this right here actually flew off while I was driving home from SAC when I picked up the car uh, I actually bought four new replacement of this piece and this one on both uh, on all four doors and I bought two uh, replacement of this and that which I'm also gonna be replacing just right before week fest other little details will just you know make the car look a little bit better I'm planning to also use some trim restore and also restore all this right here because it's like super faded and it's like so ugly let me know if you guys have had that happen to you guys before because I'm pretty sure it does because all these all of our cars out here the sun actually damaged it a lot so trim restore is our best friend welcome back guys it's actually the next day uh, I didn't really get to transition the video from yesterday but uh remember the 40 meals that I was talking to you guys about so here it is and I was able to put one on and check this out it's actually poking out quite a lot um, it looks sick with how it is with this, when it's on ride height and all that stuff But when I air it out, it actually sits right here And it doesn't, it cannot go past it anymore So that's how that side looks with the 40 mil As for this side, this is how it is without the 40 mil and just the 15 mil KT and I just actually made it to the shop What's up KJ? KJ's actually uh, ripping it on the crazy car Hit it, hit it Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how things are after I put on the spacer and everything is dialed in front. That's how crazy it pokes. What? It's right there. And the rears. A little baby poke. Better than nothing. Re better than how it was before. Uh, it was tucking before and with me having very limited days left so I can't really order much to have it come in on time before Saturday so this is what I'll just deal with for now yeah it should work out to be honest next up replacing all these ugly ass trims and this all gonna go all the goodies are right here shout out to John Accord for all this products right here dude it's a whole bunch yeah pull it yeah, buddy. Oh, it's rubber? Yeah, they're rubber. I didn't know they were rubber. Really? What? Well, yours is. Mine's plastic. Is it? Let me see. Yeah, mine's plastic. Huh. Yours is rubber? Yeah. That's why it fades faster, I think. Oh, maybe. You know what I mean? Hmm, I didn't know that. that was yeah, dude, that's why these get, like, over time, the sun kind of kills it. Come through. We fast. We're going to be there. 
This garbage can's gonna be there. This oh. dumpster is also gonna be there. So come by and say what's up. It's actually pretty lit that all of this actually does come with uh, the clips. Sometimes when you buy like OEM parts, you gotta like source the clips separately and all that stuff. So super glad that it actually comes with it. Hopefully these won't they'll last longer. The one thing I don't like is the fact that these are rubber. So over time it actually cracks and it breaks. Look at this. I hate that so bad. It's like these are just the small little details, but the little details actually shows a lot. All right, let's take off the passenger side. All right, so for this, you kind of basically just lift it up and pull it forward. Sure that way. Yeah, most of the time when you're taking it off. Oh, I like it. Yeah, most of the time when you're taking this off, the tabs will break. So for my car, the whole passenger side, uh, the trims is a lot newer than the driver side because the driver side is where it hits the sun a lot so but might as well replace all of them while i'm at it so out with the old and with the new it was actually pretty simple since uh the only reason why it was a little bit hard is because it's actually on there for quite a while um what you do is you kind of like lift it up and you kind of pull it towards you You guys broke a clip or two um not all the clips are gonna break when you take off your old one so you can just take a clip on that it will all work out in the end so yeah everything's on guys all four doors you guys are probably gonna say there isn't that much of a difference but of course when it's your car you guys will notice every little thing and I do notice the difference. All new, baby. So both of the weather strip on both sides is on. No more ugly one. And finally got the missing one that flew off while I was driving home. Dude, my car went from a trash can to a dumpster. You already know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of these wheels on the car. Dude, I think I really need some three-piece wheels, guys. Don't you guys think? And especially for it being polished, too. I think I just really like polished wheels. So, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like the car with these wheels. Because, I don't know, I might get in the future. But yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, I want to quickly apologize, real quick, that my vlog is kind of all over the place. I'm actually headed to Walmart right now. I'm here. Uh, gonna be picking up a polishing cone to polish the wheels i figured i might as well just do everything all within this vlog because it's the prep for week fest so let's go ahead and get that cone real quick and head back to the warehouse let's head on over to the car section one of my favorite spots every time i go into walmart uh where is it at where is it at aha found it mothers this is the one that the homies use so I figured just get this one and attach it to a drill gun and call it a day. Since I'm out of some glass cleaner and some quick detail, might as well just pick this up so that I can have something to clean my car while we're at the show. Just got back to the warehouse. Look who's prepping his car for his work. Look me, this, guys. <laughs> Damn, putting in work, huh? I see you, shit. My first week fest, I was doing the same thing. And guess what? I'm still doing it. <laughs> Alright guys, the car is all washed. Everything is pretty much done here. Wheels are polished and everything. Um, what I'm actually gonna be doing is, is I'm actually gonna be going to go shoot some photos with the homie Justin over here and Isaac and most likely Vu. So the next few clips you guys will probably see is just some roll uh, is just some cinematics and that's gonna be it.
guys, I am back home. I hope you guys did enjoy the little cinematics I put together. I'm still trying to get better at it, so uh, bear with me a little bit, guys. If you guys aren't doing anything this Sunday, head over to Week Fest San Jose downtown. If you guys want to see the whole squad, we're all going to be there. Some of the squad's cars going to be there, especially my car's going to be there. Um, if you guys want to come by, say what's up. We're going to be there for this Sunday. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy uh, me putting on the new wheels for the Civic 4 Week Fest. If you guys like the wheels, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have something to say, drop a comment down below. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Actually, I'll see you guys that week. Oh my, oh my God, is yeah she the hottest? That's plain and simple. I bring on not your Holy Spirit if I bless the temple. I slow it down, speed it up.